Hello everyone. Today we will discuss on our process and activities. The process of a software engineering are software specification, design implementation, validation and lastly the evolution. In software specification we need to know about feasibility studies. It means to study on the software, the requirement analysis, the requirement specification and lastly the requirement validation are the part of software specification. Here we have the diagram of requirement engineering. First of all we have the feasibility studies, then the requirement analysis, the requirement specification and lastly the requirement validation. The software design and implementation. The software design means to design a software structure that relies the specifications and implementation to translate the structure into an executable program. In designing section, first of all we need to design the software. In, in implementation section, we need to implement the code to run and make the software. In designing process, we have some activities like as architectural design, abstract design, interfacing design, component design, data structure and algorithm design, etc. The software designing process diagram is given below. You can have a snap of this one. Now the structure model. The structure model is the model that how the software will be structured. First of all, we have in the process section we have object model, sequence model, state transformation model, structural model, and data flow model. Programming and debugging. In this section, we need to hardly work on the programming section. The um, engineers and coders work here. They build the program and lastly, they debug the program to make a good software. The debugging process diagram is given here. We can have first we have the locate the error, then the design the repair, then repair error, and lastly retest the program. That is how the debugging process works. Software validation. In this section, we have two parts verifications and validation, which is also known as the VV. This definition is very important for exam point of view. Here verification means we are doing the soft work right and lastly the validation means the software is valid that what we want to do and we exactly what we have done is known as the validation. Here we have the testing process. First of all we have the component testing then the system testing and lastly the acceptance testing. Components are the parts of the software. If the parts are okay, then the whole system is tested. And if the whole system is tested, then it will send to the user or the customer. If lastly the customer accepts that, then the accept testing is passed. The testing ta stages. What we have discussed in our previous slide that component testing is known as the unit testing. Unit is the small part of our system. Some units combines and makes a system testing and lastly the acceptance testing means the software is accepted by the user or not here is the diagram of the testing phases you can have a snap of this one here we have in testing section we have alpha testing and beta testing alpha testing is known as we you are working as a software developer and you tested the software is known as the alpha testing and if the users tested the software is known as the beta testing in so play store sometimes you have some beta tester apps that means you are the customers and users of the software you you run the application in your phone and the data will be sent to the developer and with your help the developers can solve their errors. This one is known as a beta testing. Lastly, software evolution means to change all the requirements are needed by the user and with the user requirements finally build the software. It is known as the software evolution.
Here is the diagram of software evolution. Here first of all we have the requirements, then the analyzing section, then the proper then the proper system changing, then the modification system. Here we have in the analyzing section we are introduced with the new system and existing system. That's how the system evolution works. In computer based uh, computer aided software engineering or case we have some activities those activities are given here that's for today thank you